What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Before we get into this video, I want to share with you guys that I just released my very own preset package, which I am so excited to share with you guys. You guys know in the past couple videos I've shared that I was working on something behind the scenes and this is it. And I finally get to release it to you guys, which I am so over the moon about. I'm so thrilled that I get to share this with you and just happy that I'm finally created something and that I can share it with the world. So if you guys want to buy your very own presets, then you guys can check out the package that I have created. I will have it linked in the description down below and in the comments section if you guys are interested. But I know not everyone knows what presets are. Trust me, I didn't know what they were for a long time. And then when I discovered them, I went a little crazy and I am so obsessed with them. Anyway, so presets are filters that you guys can add to your photos to kind of enhance them, add a little more uniqueness, add some color, kind of something that works with your style. I created a package of 10 of my signature presets. So personally for me, I don't believe that one preset or filter will fit your photo because we're all in different environments. And I wanted to create one that will kind of fit a variety of different backgrounds, different coloring when it comes to photos. So personally for me, like if I'm in the gym, it's dark in there, I wanna brighten it up. I even live in Canada, we have different seasons. We want to kind of enhance the photos sometimes. Sometimes in the fall with the fall colors that we have, we wanna brighten them up, we wanna make them pop a little bit. Even in the winter, sometimes the snow can be very harsh in the photos, so we wanna dim down the whiteness a little bit. They're all different and unique. So whatever environment you're in, whatever style you like on your photos, whatever kind of accent you want to add to your photos, you can definitely do this with this preset package. It comes with a variety of different presets, like I said, to add to your photos. It also works with the Lightroom mobile app on your phone, which is free. That is always nice. So you just have to download the free app and then you can buy my preset package and it shows you how to download them to your Lightroom mobile app and you can add those to your photos to just add that little, you know, little thing to your photos to just make them stand out a little bit if you want them to stand out on social media or just brighten a photo, whatever you wanna do, print it out, I don't know what you do with your photos, but if you just wanna add a little something something to those photos, you can with this preset package. It is also on my website, which I'll have linked down below if you guys wanna give it a little check out. I mean, it's a very, like not huge website, but it's something that I'm hoping that I can build into for sure. So if you wanna check that out, see all the work that I put into that as well. That was something that was like so rewarding to do. Like I didn't realize how rewarding it was to build a website. I have no idea how to build a website. And I put so much time building this website, looking into it, doing kind of my style of what I wanted on my website. And that was just, so rewarding to work on. So if you want to give a little bit of a check out to that too, it's linked down below. Just click the link in the description or in the comments. I'm so excited. If you guys want to check it out, please, please check it out. Just, you know, it's, it's down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video and start working out because I got to move my body. We got a floppy bun going on. Wow. This is this is something. I mean, is it really a gym workout if I don't have a unique hairstyle that just flops everywhere that I'm probably going to have to redo in 30 seconds? <laughs> it just is what it is. So welcome to the channel. If you've never been here, this is my hairdo when I'm working out apparently today. I mean, they're always wild. This one's a little wild. Just need to calm it down just a little bit. Anyways, today we are working out. We are keeping the garage door closed because it is cold out. Weather, weather, uh, winter is coming here in Canada. Yeah, that's starting to come. When we were uh, traveling where we live, it was actually quite warm. And another side of Canada, like that gets colder before this side of Canada does. Uh, they had some pretty nice warm weather when we were gone. And now when we came back, it was still a little warm, but now it's like really starting to get cold. And like, you can tell winter is starting to come, which is like, I'm excited because I get excited for like Christmas, but then like after Christmas, I actually hate winter because it's just miserable. So we're working with the garage door closed today because if not, I'm gonna freeze because it's already freezing in here. It's 16 in here, which is kind of cold, but I mean like it warms up when you warm up kind of thing, but like it sucks when you're warming up and you're cold and you know what I mean. If you've ever been to cold gym, you guys know what I mean. So we're gonna get 
a little bit of a workout in. Also, before we get started, yes, I am wearing these leggings. I'm wearing them all the time pretty much now because they're the only leggings that fit me now. Your girl is at uh, growing that belly and we are at 20 weeks, well, almost 21 weeks in a couple days, but it is growing, it is getting there. We're at the halfway mark, which, you know, like when I was at 10 weeks, I was like, oh my God, there's so many people at 20 weeks. I can't wait to get to 20 weeks and here we are. And oh my gosh, we're halfway there, which is exciting for sure, but also like, kind of nerve wracking, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm gonna have a child in like another 20 weeks pretty much. Crazy, I know. Anyways, these are the only leggings that fit me right now. Don't worry, I know, I know. I'm fine, I am like, I just ordered a pair, like not a pair, but I just ordered some leggings that I'm going to try on. Hopefully they fit. I've just been kind of putting it off. I'm like, do I really need leggings? Like, is it that bad? Can I just wear them like, underneath my belly. Well, now that I've hit 20 weeks, I can't really wear them underneath my belly because it pushes too much pressure on my uterus. And like the kid is like really low down so it just feels super uncomfortable. And these are like the only leggings that go up like way over my belly. Like these could be almost considered maternity leggings considering how high they go. So they're the only ones that fit me. I mean, I have been wearing shorts but like I said, it's getting cold. I don't like to wear shorts when it's cold. And I mean, I'm not a big short wearer when it comes to working out anyways. So I finally caved, bought some active wear, bought some leggings, cause your girl just needs to, um, you know, work out in some comfortable clothes. Cause right now a lot of my shirts don't fit and none of my leggings fit. So I want to be comfortable, but I'm also very picky when it comes to like leggings. You guys know that too, if you guys have been following me. Super picky, and that's besides the point. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling about leggings. Just wanted to let you guys know that I have leggings coming in and I don't wear the same leggings every time I work out, but these ones just fit me more comfortably and I prefer to wear them when they are clean. And today, they are clean. Before we actually, before we get into working out, another thing I just need to ramble on about, just wanted to update you guys, just in case you guys care. I'm pretty sure you guys don't fully care, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's like a new little adventure into my fitness journey, um, which I share with you guys, obviously. Anyways, so I've been following the comp train programming for years now. Like pretty much started with comp train programming pretty much like right out of the bat as soon as I start CrossFit. And in the past like year, I mean, I've adjusted a lot, but I wasn't fully following it very strictly, that is for sure. I had to adjust a lot with my injury. And especially now with pregnancy, I had to adjust quite a bit. So I was getting kind of bored with that programming. I felt like it just wasn't working for me anymore. It's great programming, just, I was getting just, I don't know, bored. Well, pretty much just what I said. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so Dave and I decided to switch over to Mayhem programming. Now, <laughs> I mean, I'm switching over to that programming, but I'm not doing their full extent of programming. I'm still pregnant, I can't do everything, so I'm doing it to the extent that I can do it, but I've already done a couple sessions with the Mayhem programming, and I actually really like it. I have been enjoying it quite a bit. We started in their deload week, which is like a nice introduction into new programming, and I've been enjoying it. They really work on really great aspects. They work on working on skills, like pretty much like any CrossFit class. It's in 60 minutes, they have different programming. We're doing the Mayhem 60. You can just do it within 60 minutes. It gives you a warm up, gives you a skill to work on. It gives you a workout to do and then sometimes some optional stuff. And we pretty much have most of the equipment that they, they use in the programming in our gym here at home. I mean, we have a bike, so when they say row, it's pretty much just like biking. But I'm also, of course, adjusting it to my pregnancy. So when there's a lot of stuff that I just can't do, I kind of just adjust it a little bit to whatever works for me. But David has been loving the programming a lot, and so have I. I think it's been working for me, and I can't wait till after my pregnancy and after postpartum and when I get back into shape to actually do this program full on. I'm really excited about it. But I've just been working on a lot of skills, and it's just been really great. So. I'm excited to kind of step into this new programming and try this new style of stuff. It's it's just kind of fun. So that is a little change in my kind of fitness routine. I mean, 
it's not that big of a change, but it's just kind of nice to change up the programming once in a while. Anyways, um, stop rambling. I'm talking too much now. Oh my God, this video is so long. Okay, it's time to work out now. Ow, I just kicked the weights. That hurt. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling and just get into this workout because we got a full session to do and it's late in the afternoon. Let's go. audacity of you, sir. He just decided to lie down in the gym and fart in here. So <laughs> he's trying to suffocate me. We had to open the back door. I'm not opening the garage door. I'm going to freeze to death. We had to open that because if not, I was going to not be able to finish my workout. That is for sure. I'm gonna make my shots off. later now I just warmed up my supper my mom made me some chili and David's gone on a work trip again <laughs> and uh, so she gave me some of her leftover like chili that she made so I'm having that it's just filled with potatoes lentils beans and then like tomatoes and chili sauce and all that you know well not chili sauce but like chilies and the chili spices in there I don't know what else she put in but just kind of have that all in this little chili thing and I'm having that for supper. I spent a good while after the workout calming down. I really just want to make sure that after my workouts I take some time to calm down especially because we finish on a pretty high note of like high intensity of you know doing the wad. I want to really make sure I'm working on my pelvic floor so releasing my pelvic floor because I'm you know tensing enough. We've talked about this in previous videos so I'm taking time to stretch to release my pelvic floor a little bit, give it a little bit of a break because my belly, especially now that it's gotten bigger, has been just getting really, really tired throughout the workout. And definitely this workout, I went a little bit fast. I could have gone a little bit slower, like in the 
weightlifting portion like I should have taken a little more time in between my sets because I was getting a little exhausted fast but nonetheless it was really good I enjoy the weightlifting portion quite a bit just because that's like my thing like I like that and it makes me feel good so we are working on that working on drop sets which I have not worked on drop sets in quite a while and drop sets is such a great way to get stronger so if you're not doesn't matter if you're pregnant or not if you just want to get strong stronger a great way to increase your strength is drop sets so going to that like five rep max and then taking it back to like 80 percent 85 percent of that five rep max and then doing two more sets at that uh five reps um is something that will help just really build your strength so that was really fun and yeah, I mean, you guys saw that I did some adjustments. I put on the screen the called for workout and then what I did. Like I ended up changing the snatches in the workout for dumbbell snatches just because right now in my like pregnancy, doing high volume snatches, I've noticed it's just like not feasible for me. It's not really great for me and just not safe for me. So I can do like low repetitions like less than five reps i don't mind doing with a barbell but as it gets higher up in volume i just prefer using a dumbbell it's just a lot safer for me for me and my positioning so i just did that i changed it up a little bit and obviously didn't do box jump overs because i'm gonna lose my pelvic floor if i end up doing that but i just did a little bit of changes and nothing too crazy and it was just a really great day to work out and i'm really really happy i I'm I'm on a new exciting like I had that little bit of new motivation trying a new program and trying a different strategy to approaching CrossFit even though it's not like super super different so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more like this don't forget to subscribe of course and don't forget to check out my presets which are linked down below in the description and in the comments so please go check them out if you want to or even just check out my website if you're curious and all that jazz check it out it's all linked down below so yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm getting a little tired and a little bit of hungry. A little bit of hungry, see, yeah, can't talk anymore. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to be unstoppable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down. Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby, drinking